Hello everybody and welcome to day seven of the Australia quarantine series. Today I've got a medium clue and an easy clue and 158 eclectic implings to open. I think the medium clue rate from these is one in 25. So that should be like six more medium clues approximately after this one. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and yeah, do all these medium clues and hopefully get really lucky and get some uh, ranger boots. Well, that was pretty bullshit. I expected 7 with a drop rate from the Eclectic Implings of 1 in 25 for the medium clues, and I got 2. I had one clue already, so I got 2 from 158 Eclectic Implings. That's 1 in 75. Uh, anyway, let's uh, open the easy first. Fire Lighters, that's decent. Charge Dragonstone Jewelry Scroll. Doesn't that let me put charges on my... Uh, glory without having to go to the that fountain. I think that's pretty good. All right, we've got three chances for the one in 1125 at the Ranger Boots. Let's just get it, hey? Oh, that's good. Sara Page, happy with that. Gnomish Firelighter. Oh, and a page. I'm until page three. This is really lucky. All right, last casket. Just give me the boots. Another Gnomish Firelighter. <laughs> And some purple sweets. I'm pretty sure these are quite rare. Yeah, these are 1 in 341. That's pretty fucking rare. Alright, I'm just gonna jump into some more barrows because I really fucking need RM's items. Alright guys, I think this will be my last chest for the night. Um, this is my 20th chest today. So I might just do like 20 chests per day. If I get an RM's item, that's sick. But if I don't, then at least I've got like other time to like finish other quests. And plus I can get upgrades through other things other than barrows, like the infinity boots and the Majorina Cape 2. Majorina 2 capes. So um yeah, let's see what's in this chest and then uh I think I'll just AFK mining for the rest of the night. Yeah, bloody hell. Good morning guys, welcome to day eight of my Australia quarantine series. Um yesterday I had a very easy day. I didn't do very many things aside from barrows um, and pretty much just AFK'd mining the whole day and just managed to get 80 mining just now, which is very nice. I love getting those 80 numbers, getting into the 80s. Now I'm going to go to the blast furnace and uh, smelt all of my bars. So this should be 72 smithing. Fuck yeah, one more level till we can make um, Addy, Addy crossbow bolts. Okay, here we go, 73 smithing coming in. Okay, so that's now 1080 diamond bolts on the account. I won't enchant them just yet. I don't have that many uh, cosmic runes, but when I gain access to Priftiness, um, I can buy them from the shop. There's like 250 in stock. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna focus on now. Gonna go do 20 barrows runs. Gonna get that out of the way for today. And then I'm gonna try and do a uh, major arena too. Oh my God, yes. First chest of the day, Torag's played legs. Oh, fuck yes. Fuck, I'm so happy, dude. <laughs> oh, that's fucking sick. <laughs> Another duplicate helmet, you fucking serious. Second Torax helm. Honestly, 179 chests, and I've got two duplicates already. No weapon. The tank body and the tank legs are great, but everything else, like, fuck me, dude. Oh my god, second last chest of the day, I got fucking Varax Flail, that's awesome. That's my first weapon. All right, 20 chests done. Didn't get anything on the last one, but that's three items today from 20 chests. Very happy with that. Finally, the luck's turning around. Okay, so what I have to do um, for the Major Arena 2, I have to locate three dudes, a Gothix dude, a Saradomen dude, and a Zamorak dude. Now, using this, it's like the um, strange device for treasure trails. And I need to kill all three of them, and they're like roaming around the wilderness, and I have to like locate them with this thing. Apparently, what you're supposed to do is first locate them, then teleport out, then bring your gear that you want to fight them with and then go fight them and they'll hop they'll like change location every 45 minutes so hopefully they're in the same place as when you found them and i just tried to do it then and i was getting very close to the saradoman dude like this was burning hot and this guy killed me so i'll go and see if they're in the same place i'd hopped wild so i don't know if if they're going to be in the same place they might have moved anyway so i gotta go start it again what the fuck as soon as I step outside, there's another guy. I don't think I can use this. Oh my god, he's here again. He's he actually hopped to the same world that I hopped to. 
If I can't kill the fragment of Saren um, with my gear, then I'll try and upgrade it, but this is this is just too frustrating. All right, guys, I'm about to take on the fragment of Saren again. If it looks like I'm just not going to win, not going to beat it, then I'll probably just teleport out, but hopefully it's enough. This is my gear. It's really not great. It's only 91 uh, magic attack bonus. If I had like some RMs or the god cape, I'd be up near 100. So if this fails, I will of course keep going for RMs and I'll try again to get the imbued god cape, but for now I'll just try this and see how it goes. Um, <laughs> I almost died then. I think I ate the, the shark on like the last tick that I could have eaten it. Yeah, I'm going to tell you, but I'm doing this tonight. Okay, guys, round two. Um, made a few changes. I put on the Lunar Ring instead of my uh, Explorer's Ring. So I'll have one less Prayer Bonus this time, but I'll have two more Magic Attack Bonus. So it's at 93 now instead of 91. Not really sure which is better. Prayer Bonus might be better, but I'm just going to try this and try and kill her as quickly as I can. I've got some darts now. Those healers only have one health, so you just have to like touch them one time. And then my other secret weapon is uh, purple sweets. So I got some purple sweets from Treasure Trails. These heal one to three hit points. And a couple of times when I was versing her, my health was like here, like near the top, and I didn't want to use a shark, but I also didn't want to die. So I figure I might as well just eat a couple of purple sweets and just top up my health up to maximum without using up an inventory slot so that I don't die. And like... If this is on average two health per purple sweet, then it's 48 extra health that I've got sitting here. It's like almost two and a half sharks, so that's sick. Man, these healers, they're doing me in. 20%, less than 20%, come on. How did that not kill it? Maybe I need to like use rune darts so they're more accurate or something. I thought I just had to touch them. I'm gonna eat a shark. Now I'm ready to eat purple sweets. <gasps> what? I died. Oh, come on. I must have been so close to max health. Fuck's sake. All right. Attempt number three for today. Uh, changed up my inventory a little bit. I got rid of the darts because I didn't realize how short range they were. This has a lot longer range. I think this is just a lot easier. I don't have to worry about switching anything. Plus I heal from this. Like each time I hit a healer, it's probably healing me like five or six, I think, with the blood blitz, which is a lot more healing. So like if there's four healers and I'm healing five on each one, that's a shark. Um, so yeah, I'm going to stick to blood blitz. No darts. I've replaced my prayer potions with super restores. I don't really care that it's more expensive because I've got like 150 of these in the bank and each one will restore one more prayer point than a prayer potion. So, you know, that's 16 more prayer points. Um, it might matter. I don't know. Yeah, still got 21 purple sweets. Hopefully it's enough. Uh, when, when she's about to hit me for the huge attack, I'm just going to spam these and make sure I'm at full health every single time because... Uh, when she's in her final phase, I'm pretty sure she hits all of your health except one. She leaves you at one health. So I'm pretty sure when I died, I was at like one below max health. I was at like 78 HP. But yeah, this is going to be the last attempt for today. If I can't make it on this attempt, then I'll definitely have to improve my gear. No. If they heal her above 200, then I'm just... No, I'm fucked. I can't do it. God damn it. I need more DPS. I'm gonna to return to Barrows, try and get an RMS piece. What the fuck? First chest since I attempted Song of the Elves boss and I get the RMS staff. Not exactly the RMS piece that I was hoping for, but that's pretty good. Like if I can get all the other ones, then I can auto cast um, <laughs> with this. Fuck yes, new item, Torag's hammers. That's three Torag items now. Holy shit, that's awesome. All right, last chest for the day. This is chest number 200 now. Fucking awesome. Hopefully we can get something. Nah. Good morning, guys. Welcome to day number nine, I believe. I actually really want to finish Song of the Elves today. So I'm not going to make the video from the past two days. I think I'll make it a three-day video and try and defeat this Saren today. 
So I've got up really early, it's like 5 to 6 at the moment, and I really want to try and get this Majorina 2 shit done. So I'm hoping that there's not too many PKers in Australia, in the Australian world, when it's this early in the morning. Okay, I found the Zami dude. He's like right in the northeast corner. Alright, here we go. Demon's heart, okay. Now I just gotta make it back without dying. Okay, one down. <laughs> this is so nerve wracking. Visibly shaking and. Oh shit, he's here. Oh my god. I didn't even see him. Alright, so I need to cast Serodome and Strike. I should cast Charge first. Here we go. Oh shit, gotta move. Oh my god. Don't kill me, bitch. He killed me. <sighs> Fuck's sake. Here he is. Nice, that's how you do it. Oh my god, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, please don't, please don't. Please don't. <sighs> I just realized I wasn't even praying protect from magic. <laughs> no wonder he was hitting me so hard, I'm a fucking idiot. I was just eating sharks and getting hit for like 27s. Right, I gotta remember to put on Protect from Magic next time. Okay, let's do this. Hopefully he hasn't moved. And start casting this shit. He's dead. He's dead. And it's roots. Oh fucking hell, I made it back. Talk to Collodian. Imbue your Serodome and Cape. Oh fuck yes. Collodian takes your cape and imbues it with the power of the gods before handing it back. Cheers, Collodian. Oh my god, that looks so good! Alright, I'm done. Now, I am going to the mage, mage training arena, and I'm gonna get the infinity boots, because I want as much magic attack bonus as I can. 86 magic coming in right here. Fuck yeah, 86 magic. Uh, the mage training arena is taking a really long time, it's already quarter to 11 today. I thought this would take like an hour or two, but it's taken... I think it's gonna take like a total of about 4 hours just to get the infinity boots. Can't imagine how long it takes to get like the the Master Wand or the Mage's Book. Honestly, fuck that shit. My god, okay, after many hours, I have finally completed all the shit needed for these infinity boots. Confirm. Uh, second best in slot Mage boots in the game. But fuck yeah, got the infinity boots. There's just one more thing I want to do before I try the uh, Fragment of Saren again. Okay, this should be 72 prayer coming in right now. Fuck yeah. So now all of my super restores will restore 26 prayer points instead of 25. So that's like the last upgrade that I can do aside from getting Arams that I can think of. Alright, I took quite a lot of damage in the elf land, so I'm just going to have lunch and let this health go back up. Um... But uh, this is going to be my gear. I think last time I had only a magic attack bonus of 91 and I almost beat her. It was just like in the final phase. I just couldn't damage her quick enough um, and the healers were healing a bit too much. So hopefully this will be enough to upgrade since the last time I've imbued the Sara Cape. 
So it's like a plus five attack bonus. I've got the infinity boots instead of the mystic boots, which is only a plus two attack bonus, but hopefully it's helping. I've got the beacon ring this time. It's basically a lunar ring. It's just plus two attack and plus one defense, I think, in magic. Right, I'm ready to eat these sweets. Fucking hell, eat. Eat. I'm gonna die. I've, I've really died again. <sighs> okay, guys, I have a new plan. All my gear is exactly the same, only now I don't have those fucking purple sweets. They really let me down last time. I needed to, like, heal. I don't know how much. I was missing maybe five health. And I was spamming them, and I think I only ate one before she hit me. And I died. So... My plan now is to go with these pineapple pizzas. They heal 11 per bite, so it's 22 total, so it's actually more than a shark. And if she's going to hit me and I'm not at full health, I can just eat one bite, so one half of it, and it's 11. So as long as I'm less than 11 health from max health, it will heal me up to full. So hopefully these go better than the purple sweets. And yeah, hopefully I can kill her on my sixth or seventh try or whatever this is. Oh my god. I can't survive another attack. No. I can't kill her fast enough. I really need RMs. Look at that healing. I have to tell you. All my pizza's gone. Whoa. Yep. Fuck. I need arms. Back to Barrows. Holy fucking shit, no way. No way. <gasps> arms are up top. I did I I I I didn't even know what to say. <laughs> Fuck off. Three chests in today. Holy shit. Uh, I can't believe it. <laughs> well, I'm going back to the fragment of Saren. Okay, guys, this is attempt number seven or eight. I can't even remember at this point. I'm switching it up a little bit. Of course, I've got the RM's top instead of the Mystic top, which is a plus 30 magic attack bonus instead of plus 20. So I've gone from 100 to 110, which is a 10% increase, which is very nice. Um, I'm bringing Magic Shortbow and Rune Arrows this time. Uh, apparently Magic Shortbow is pretty good for taking down the healers. It has decent range and it attacks quite quickly, so... Yeah, gonna go for just Pineapple Pizzas this time. They heal 22 each. Um, so it's more healing overall than the Karambwans and the Sharks. It's just that, like, you can Shark and then Karambwan for a tick eat, and it's 38. Um, but these will take a bit more time, but they heal 44. For like two inventory slots, I mean. Um, probably a combination of the two would be best. But um, I'm just going to see how this goes. Keep it simple. No tick eats. Um, you can eat these like a tick eat. Like you can double click this basically. And eat the two slices one tick after the next. Um, <clears throat> so it might take a total of like five or six ticks to eat two. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. Alright, here we go. Nice. That's pretty fast to eat two pizzas. I think I'll do that. I'll just eat two pizzas after each time, and then hopefully I can heal all the way back up in between.
She's so low, come on, I need this. She's less than 10% health. <sighs> come on, 48 health. Please tell me I can kill her. I just need to hit, hit big, hit big, hit big. Two. Oh, come on. No healers. No healers, no healers. Oh my God, fucking hell. They heal her so much. Oh my god. I can do this. I can do this. I just gotta heal up. I can do this. I have to kill her on this phase. Alright, that's all the health you're getting, buddy. Come on, hit big. Hit big. Oh my god, so close. Hit big. Come on, 62. 62 health. Do it. 47 health. Come on. Come on. 41. <sighs> 23. Oh my god, hit 18. Hit 18. Do it. Do it. Do it. Hit 16. Come on. Come on. Come on, 5. Come on. <gasps> no way. No way, no way, no way, no way. Oh my god, killer, 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 killer. <gasps> oh my god, my heart's actually pounding. I have six health left and no food. <sighs> Why is my heart actually pounding? <clears throat> it didn't even matter if I died, I could just go back and try it again. Oh my god. I'm such a fucking loser. <laughs> uh, uh, why am I such a nerd? <laughs> <sighs> Honestly, that hurt my heart. I need to breathe. <sighs> I'm like, my whole body's tingling and it's actually hurting my chest. What the fuck? It's RuneScape. <sighs> You have completed Song of the Elves, four quest points, oh my god. 20k agility, construction, farming, herbal hunter, mining, smithing, and woodcutting. Oh, thank you very much. Look at my inventory. <sighs> Alright guys, that's definitely the end of this video. Sorry it's taken like three days. Um, really wanted to include that in this video. So I'm going to do something very AFK, chill the fuck out, edit this video and upload it. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one.